Up first this evening, there's worry in the funeral home industry as morgues are on the verge of running out of space. In an exclusive interview with TVJ News, funeral director of the Tranquility Funeral Home, Joseph Cornwall, says it won't be long before his morgue starts bursting at the seams with bodies. This as bodies are being stored for longer periods because families are waiting for COVID-19 restrictions on funerals to be lifted to bury their loved ones. Kirk Wright tells us more. This is a newly installed 10-man body storage system at the Tranquility Funeral Home in Orange Street in Kingston, and yet the CEO says if things don't improve soon, that could spell trouble for him. Well, we are coping, but we could see problems down the road if things continue the, in the way it is now going. Mr. Cornwell says the bodies are piling up because people have been postponing funerals because of the government's limitation on the number of persons who can attend. We used to have like on any, on any weekend, meaning Saturdays and Sundays, we could have up to 40 barrels. No, you're having about how many? We are down to less than 10. Now he says there is more uncertainty since two of the major public burial spots are located in St. Catherine, which is on the lockdown. I spoke to the CEO of Medores and she was not in a position to tell me exactly what is happening. Mr. Cornwell says the costs to store bodies for longer than expected are also rising, but that they are working on ways to help their customers cope. This is something that we'll have to look into to see um, what the additional charges would be. We are trying to see how much we can cushion the increase in operational costs and try to see how best we can hold the prices down. But if it lasts beyond what we could call a normal timing, then we probably would have to think about adjusting prices upwards. And what's a normal time for you? Well, it's difficult at this point in time to put a number on the timing. The Tranquility Funeral Home says some kind of duty concession would help them cope. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.